definitely gonna fit. There he goes. Ooh, there he goes on the drop. He took it on the drop. Ooh, that's a nice tiger. Look at that. He drilled it. What do we got? Rainbow trout. There he goes. All right, how he bit me. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Last Cast Outdoors. Today we are gonna be doing some ice fishing up here in the Uinta Mountains. We are here at beautiful Butterfly Lake to do some ice fishing. I came here last week, so last video did really good. The ice was about three inches thick. I measured it today because we did have some snowstorms and it did get cold and we got five inches of ice, which is amazing. That's very safe to be on. So pretty much we're gonna be ice fishing the same spot I fished last video. I might try different spots of the lake and see if we can do good as well. But today's weather is supposed to be really nice. As you can tell, blue skies, it's supposed to be nice and warm. But let's stop talking and let's go do some ice fishing. All right guys, we're about to drop down. I got a golden spoon with a worm on it. We're gonna drop down. We're about seven feet of water, which is pretty nice. It is pretty cold this morning. It's about 20 degrees. It's supposed to warm up to like the 40s, which will be super nice. It's supposed to be really sunny today. Oh, there he goes. This one feels good. We've got rainbow trout, first fish of the day. Healthy rainbow. All right, great way to start off the day, a nice, healthy, wild rainbow trout. Let's let him go. There he goes. Let it drop and he ate it. Oh, that's a nice tiger. All right, there we go. A nice, healthy tiger trout. He is wild. Really healthy sized tiger trout here at Butterfly Lake. Let's put him back in the water. See you, buddy. There we go, we got a mark. He's playing with it. There he goes. Oh, it's a brook trout. Let's go. We caught all three species. Rainbow trout, tiger trout, now brook trout. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, guys, there we go. A nice wild brook trout. Absolutely stunning. Let's put him back in the water. Woo. There we go. That is actually crazy. Our first trout was a rainbow, then we caught a tiger, and then we caught a brookie. Dude, that is nuts. Ooh, we're gonna bite. There he goes. Ooh. Guys, are you seeing this right now? This is a good one. Hmm. There we go. It's a wild moss plant, probably around, I don't know, eight inches. I don't know if there was an actual trout on there. I don't know. That was weird. Oh, there he goes on the drop. He took it on the drop. Ooh, that's a nice tiger. All right, check that out. A beautiful wild tiger trout. Nice big pattern on him. Look at that. Wow. Let's put him back. There we go. We got a mark. That's six feet, five and a half. Oof. Good punch. 
another. Oh, that's a chunky tiger. Holy crap, that thing is chunky. Holy crap. Look at this tiger trout. This is a healthy male. He's got like a little hunchback. Look at that pattern. Wow. This made the whole trip right here. This is a beautiful tiger. Wow. Let's put him back. Ooh, there he goes. He just barely pecked it. Nice tiger. All right, check that out. Another beautiful tiger trout, dark pattern, brown belly. Really pretty guy. He is ready to go. All right, let's go. Let's go. Here you go. All right, guys, I just put on a little Sierra Slammer. No worm. I'm going to see just how they react to it. If they seem interested or but not, but are not biting, I'll probably put a worm on, but I'll give it a try. If they don't like this color, I also have a green color. Got a mark at six. He's staying right at six. He's not really going up to it. Oh, he bit it. He bit it. Oh, he bit it. Come on, buddy. He's still there. He's chasing it. Look at that. Oh, why can I not hook him? I bet if this thing had a worm on it. He would have taken it for sure. Oh, he's back. Oh, there we go. That's a good mark. There he goes. He took it. Oh, rainbow trout on a Sierra Slammer. Let's go. That's epic. All right, there we go. A nice, healthy, wild rainbow trout. He really was interested in that Sierra Slammer. Let's let him go. See you, buddy. All right, I got my Sierra Slammer on. I just put a worm on. They are so close to biting it, but just not quite. So hopefully this this worm will help them. It definitely is warming up. Sun's been out the whole day. It's getting actually really warm, not gonna lie. Thinking about maybe taking off some layers, but there's also no wind at all, which doesn't help. Usually if you get a small breeze coming through, really helps cool you down a little bit, but no wind whatsoever. Ooh, that was a good hit. Look at that. He drilled it. What do we got? Rainbow trout. All right, a nice wild rainbow trout. Pretty dark colors on him. Nice pink line. Beautiful cheeks. Let's let him go. I took off the Sierra Slammer. I put on this Chartreuse tube jig. Uh, no worm. We'll see how they react to it. They don't seem too interested or a little hesitant, then we'll put a worm on. But it is pretty cool when they don't bite without that worm. There's a mark. He's playing with it. Oh, dude. Did I get him? We got him. We did it. We did it. Another little rainbow trout all right there we go a little rainbow trout on that little tube jig that is crazy he is he's ready to go all right put the golden spoon back on Ooh, gave it a quick little hit there he goes Tiger trout, let's go. Spit it right out. All right, check that out. We caught a nice, healthy tiger trout. Once again, a really pretty pattern on him. Look at that. Let's put him back. See you, buddy. Ooh, got a mark. Ooh, he hit it.
Did we get him? Oh, the little one. All right, just a little rainbow trout. Not super healthy. Has a nice pattern on him. Let's let him go. Hopefully he can get healthier now. Oof, there he goes. Good hit. Oh yeah, nice tiger. Let's go. All right, check that out. A beautiful wild tiger trout. He has big fins on him. Look at that. He is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. All right, let's let him go. That's one healthy tiger trout. All right, guys, I've been doing some exploring around Butterfly Lake. Everywhere I've been going, it's pretty much been five inches, which is nice. But right now I drilled a hole five and a half feet. I caught a couple off camera. I've been using my deeper chirp. Uh, it's like a portable fish finder. Let me show you. This is what it looks like. It connects to your phone through Wi-Fi emits its own Wi-Fi signal and you can use it for ice fishing. It's not as good as a Garmin for sure because it's wireless, but it's easy just to pop in and see what's going on. So I've done a couple of holes, caught a couple of trout here and there. But let's uh, drop down. Ooh, we got a mark. Ooh. There he goes. Oh, we caught a brookie. Well, I'm glad I caught that on camera. Let's go, second one of the day. All right, guys, a nice wild brook trout. Pretty pattern on him. Hopefully you guys can see that. Look at that. Let's put him back. All right, just popped another hole pretty close to bank, about almost five feet, not too bad. And this is where I normally would like cast, like right here if I was fishing on the bank during open water. So let's see what it is like ice fishing. Still, at, I'm still at four feet. That's a mark. That was a good hit. Got a rainbow trout. All right, nothing too special, just a rainbow trout. See you, buddy. All right, we moved spots once again. We are pretty much in the middle of the lake, still at five inches of ice, seven and a half feet deep. So where I pretty much where my first spot was around was around seven feet. Ooh, I think that's a mark. It's definitely a mark. There he goes. Took one minute. Oh, the tiger. Here we go. All right, a nice healthy tiger trout. Look at that guy, he's beautiful. Let's put him back in the water. Might fish this hole a little bit longer. We only caught that guy within a minute. There it goes. Another healthy tiger trout. Wait, no, do not go back in that hole. Once again, another beautiful tiger trout. Just look at that pattern. Wow. All right, let's let him go. We're gonna try a new spot. All right, we went to a new spot. We're about 10 feet deep. This is pretty, 
deep for this lake. I have never ever caught a fish in this spot before, so this should be very interesting. Oh, oh, I think we got a mark. Oh, there he goes. Just a little tap. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's a tiger. All right, another beautiful tiger trout. Check out his pattern. It is so vibrant. All right, let's let him go. That's one pretty tiger trout. All right, we caught that tiger trout pretty quickly. Kind of like this spot. Let's hurry and drop down. See if we can catch one more. Today's been an absolute sleigh day. I feel like I could be here all day catching fish. Whoa, look at that. Did you see it? It shot down. There we go. That was epic. That was so cool. Oh, oh, barely got him out. It's a rainbow. Dude, that's awesome. All right, how he bit me. All right, biggest rainbow trout of the day. Down the hole. Ah, guys. Right when I was trying to show him, he literally bit my finger. He literally bit my finger and is drawing blood. That is nuts. I've never had a, a trout bite me. It did hurt. All right, we are all done. Today was an amazing day. We definitely did a lot better than last week. The weather held up very nicely. Blue skies, nice warm temperatures. We hit a lot of different spots in the lake and did really good. Today was definitely an amazing day for fishing. We did so good. It was nonstop action, but hopefully next week I can come up here and do some more ice fishing. We are supposed to have even more snow storms this week. So this might be my last time up here. Hopefully not. I want to come back up next week, but we're just going to have to find out. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. See you.